Okay, gang. I don't know if you can tell. I've been getting kind of sloppy here, and uh, and my display started out all nice and neat and tidy. I just want to get through this. Um, again, March twelfth, two thousand eleven. We're on a Saturday, uh, burning up a bunch of Saturday afternoon time, doing some videos up for you guys. Um, let's go through these real quick. We get the cheap generics out of the way. Uh, this one's got the Colt name on it, but it's a, I believe, a China made. Yep. Uh, CT226. It's a boot knife, uh, dagger dagger style. It actually came hair shaving sharp uh, with a real nice uh, leather sheath, um, steel riveted, and uh, holds real nice. Um, it can actually double as a thrower. I've done that a few times just to uh, check out its uh, strength and stability, and it, it's got a good strong uh, tip. Um, you can see just by looking at it, it didn't suffer any ill fate by me using it as a thrower. Um, but it's uh, for uh, a cheap generic boot knife. That's uh, nice and uh, chrome plated spring steel, and it's real tough steel too. Really holds on good. So anyway, it's enough about the Colt. Uh, the oldest fixed blade that I've got is a uh, Schradewald New York uh, fixed blade. Um, a little bit of rust on the blade there. It's obviously a uh, um, carbon steel, uh, leather wrapped with, I don't know if that's Bakelite or, or, what, or just plastic or what it is. Um, and you can kind of see here where it, it would be a full tang. Uh, goes all the way through you can kind of kind of see here where it's attached to the butt plate but anyway and a little wobbly a little rickety but takes a decent edge and it's not one I'm afraid to beat up and abuse uh, so it takes care of that and trade Walden um, handmade knife Made in USA, made out of a file. Anza knives, A N Z A. Uh, they all come with sheaths. Um, he's got a website, anza.com, I believe. Um, a really nice, really nice maker. You see, it's got uh, laminated uh, rosewood grips in silver and gray, or black and gray, whatever you want to call it. Real nice finish on it, see the sheen, and then uh, stacked layers of colored laminated wood here on both sides, and uh, it's really, really uh, nice craftsmanship. Um, he makes all these knives on belt sanders. He draws the temper out of the steel so that uh, the blade will have some flexibility so that it won't just snap off on you, and this one's dated, uh, it says Anza USA. 10, 2010 in parentheses. Um, I don't remember the name of this one, but I'm sure to show you here. You can see um, the lines on the back of it there, and then up in here where it's not been, where the sanding hasn't taken all of the uh, file marks out of it. So, just it's a neat knife, nice little knife, and and, it, and it's tiny. It's not real big. Get back here so you guys can see. Whoop. Pretty small. And uh, it's held real securely. It's not going to come out. And you put that on your belt. Nice little, nice knife. Um, I like it. Didn't pay too much for it. Hang on. i got to wet my weasel. I didn't think doing all these videos was going to make me tired. But it is. I'm wearing myself out here. Um, I already had the... Tabor spare tool out, but it is a next knife or fixed blade and or utility knife. So it's out again. I won't go back over that. I recently did my Ozark trail in my uh, one of my videos. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, it's a fixed blade with uh, some nice Coca Cola handles. Real cheap, like seven dollar knife at Walmart. Uh, it now has the Coleman name on it. Same knife if you if you buy it. It just doesn't have the Ozark trail trademark mountains uh, cut out of it there so there's that just a generic beater that I uh, would not be afraid to uh, lash to a um, 
a stake to use as a spear or anything like that. And it's got a nice shaped blade for doing something like that. You can see a grind on the top. Pretty decent. Anyway, there's that. Uh, Fultz Minimalist, and you guys uh, that know me know that I like to polish my knives, so I took the micarta scales off of here and uh, took the, the little black lanyard that it had on there, took that off and just put uh, an extended piece of uh, tether cord, OD green and um, black twisted braided tether cord. And it's also what I used for being on my neck. Uh, but this is CRKT Fultz Minimalist. Really nice finger choils. Holds in the hand really well. Really, really well. Um, holds a real good edge. Uh, real good edge. Warm clip style. Uh, Kydex holster. And the cold steel. Um, I took the wrapping off of it. This is the Scottish Spike. And this is a... Zytel sheath? I don't remember. I think it's, I think it's called Zytel. I'm not sure, but uh, I've, I've started working on uh, polishing the knife, and I'm trying to figure out what the best way is for me to do it, because it's a really hard steel. They do a, a, a cold heat treat to it, and this steel is really, really, really hard, um, and, and it's really thick. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. You see I've polished the spine on it there, and uh, it's got nice jimping on either side. There's still the spike. I will not be polishing the blade itself. Just everything outside of the blade. Let me get my towel so I can clean it off. You guys see it's it's uh, it's going to clean up real nice when I get through getting the whole thing polished up here. So there. Let's see. I'll get the whole thing done. You can still see some of the sanding marks. Um, I think I'm going to wet sand it to get the sanding marks out and then go back through and, and uh, use my high speed buffer to polish it again. Uh, got all the file marks out of the tip. It's got fingerprints all over it. But it's going to look really sharp. But I think I'm also going to do some file work to it um, after I get it polished so that I will have uh, a, a good grip on it, but it'll still look real, real nifty. And uh, it can double as a signaling mirror when I get done with it. Um, and uh, my latest acquisition, of course, my first video is about that little Boker uh, Gnome knife uh, that I put the clip on, the pocket clip on. Neat and nifty little knife. I like it. And I am going to loosen up that sheath soon. But cute little bugger in it. Okay. Uh, I think I finally reached the end of the knives, guys. Um... Thanks for requesting them. I hope I haven't bored you guys too much. There's a whole bunch of videos you guys are going to have to go through today or tomorrow or this week or this month or whenever you happen to get to them, if you happen to get to them. No biggie if you don't. Uh, so, anyway, that's it. I'm wore out. Now it's time to get all these edited, converted, and uh, put up on YouTube. May not get them all up until uh, tomorrow. We'll have to see how things go. This is Zippo. Later. I'm out.